A brass bar having cross-sectional area of 500 mm square is subjected to axial forces as shown in figure. Find the total elongation of the bar. Take E is equal to 80 GP. Okay. So first of all, consider bar AB. Okay. Just we need to consider bar AB. So here at it will be applied 100 kN load. This one it is 100 kN load applied. 100 kN load. Just we are applied here 100 kN. Okay. It is given. Okay. So for balancing, we need to apply same force in opposite direction. Same force it is in opposite direction. That is 100 kN. 100 kN. 100 kN. Okay. So this one length it is given for AB. It is fine. So concept P1 is equal to 100 kN. And L1 it is L1 is equal to L1 is equal to 500. L1 is equal to 500. Okay. So now consider member BC. Member BC. Okay. Member BC. Okay. So at this one it is A and B. This one it is A and B. At B we have applied one extra load. Okay. That is 100 kilometer we call extra load. So first of all remove this extra load. Okay. So we need to remove this extra load. So I will show it is in red color. So just I will apply extra load to remove this. That is 100 kN. Just I have removed it is in red one. It is 100 kN. I have removed. Okay. So next one it is actual load at B will be how much actual load at B it will be? Yeah. Actual load it will be 80 kN. It is towards the point. 80 kN towards the point. This one it is 80 kN, it is towards the point. Okay. So now, how much it will be get? So 100 minus 80, it will be away from the B, away from the, so this one it is B member and this one it is C member. So this one it is away from the B member. So we need to apply this extra load for balancing purpose. This is 20 kilo, 20 kilo. So this one it is 20 kilo. So this one it is extra load. Okay. We have applied extra load at C so 20 kilo. So now say PT is equal to 20 kilo. PT is equal to 20 kilo. And length it is L2 is equal to L2 is equal to 1000 m. 1000 mm. Okay. So now consider C D number. Now consider C D. This one it is C D number. Length is 1200. So this one it is C. And this one it is D. This one it is D. Okay. So we have applied extra load. First of all, to remove this extra load. Okay. So this one it is 20 kN. It is applied extra. That is we apply. We apply extra. This remove this extra load opposite of this C. That is 20 kN. This one is 20 kN. The actual at C it will be 50 kN. It is towards the point. 50 kN, it is towards the point. Okay. This one is 20. 50 kN, it is towards the point. 50 kN. Okay. So this 50 minus 20 it will be 30 kN. So for balancing, we apply towards the point, it will be 30 kN. So at D it will be actual 30 kN. Okay. It will be get same value at the last. 30 kN. 30 kN. So now here C3 is equal to C3 is equal to so for compression it will be take negative value. So minus 30 kN. So it will be minus 30 kN and L3 it will be 1200. L3 it will be 1200 M. So change in length is equal to delta L is equal to we know that delta L is equal to Delta, delta L1 plus delta L2 plus delta L. So delta L1 it is for member AB. Delta L2 for member BC. Delta L2 for member BC. And delta L3 for member C. Delta L3 for member C. So we know that change in length formula. It is PL divided by A. Delta L is equal to PL divided by A. So first of all, for delta L, 
L1, it will be P1 below. below. So is equal to P1 L1, P1 P1 L1, P1 L1 divided by A divided by A. E plus P two L two plus P two L two P two L two divided by A divided by A then plus plus P three L three P three L3 divided by A divided by A. So cross sectional area and angst model this will be same for A to B, all members. For all members, it will be same. So we'll take cross sectional area, it will be common, is equal to A by A to be common. A divided by A to get common. A bracket close. P1 L1 plus P2 L2 plus P3 L2. P1 L1 plus P2 L2 plus P3 L2. Okay, L2. is equal to 1 by A, it will be 1 by A. One by A it will be cross sectional area it will be five hundred you know? five hundred you know? five hundred you know? and it will be given given eighty GPA convert it is in Newton kilo Newton per mm square it will be get same value eighty okay? we get same value there. okay so write down P one L one so P one L one it will be how much P1 L1 it will be P1 it will be 100 then L1 it will be 500 500 then plus then plus plus okay I will write down here that's all okay so write down this is equal to is equal to 1 by one by first L rate is five hundred five hundred mm square. Then it is eighty newton kilo newton per m kilo newton per mm square. So P one it is hundred hundred it is in kilo newton. L one it is five hundred plus P two it is eighty kilo newton and L two it is one thousand mm. Then minus so for tension, it will be take positive. For compression, it will be take negative value. So 30 into L3, it will be 1200. 1200. So total length will be 0.85 M. Okay. So change in length, total elongation is equal to total elongation is equal to just calculate this one will be 100 into 500 and plus plus uh, 20 into 1000 1000 and minus 30 into 1200 divided by 500 into 80 total elongation it will be 0 0.85 Point eight five M. This one it is totally 